I've never told anyone this before. Shooting day today, I'm recording an amazing tattoo artist and I'm dying of impatience to have a tattoo done myself. Meet Beatrix de Villa. What? name envy over here like how cool is the name de villa beatrix comes from a line of italians and around her studio you can see these valuable historical antiques from her great grandparents her instagram logo or the image she uses for it is a skull and a client printed a really cool skull that i'm seriously obsessed with today's tattoo was for david a awesome bartender with a passion for coffee and tattoos beatrix did all his ink what really made my day was her attention to detail because david has some tattoos on his finger and she incorporated those tattoos in today's design so basically the tattoo has a tattoo maybe i should give my tattoo a tattoo and as amazing as beatrix is none of my tattoos are done by her but my future ones are I love a good story and tattoos are nothing but amazing stories and talking about this please tell me in the comment section what's the story or the meaning behind your designs it's important for me to have a meaningful tattoo with hidden messages and symbols there's a lot of brainstorming in this process in choosing the design in choosing the body part and then finding the appropriate tattoo artist to match the style i may have hyped you up a little bit but i only have two tattoos for now and they are unintentionally matching for a person who's worn black for most of her life my tattoos are watercolor the ballerina 30th of june 2015 this is an actual photograph of a ballerina by the photographer yuri bogomars i hope i said that right and shamefully i do not know the name of the ballerina i messaged him about the tattoo and sent him photos and once i was in moscow i wanted to meet up with him but unfortunately we didn't manage to I know I would like to be told if someone had a tattoo with one of my photos. The tattoo was made in a short trip I made to Romania after I graduated fashion photography right before moving to London. The artist is Dorin or Pinko from Old Bastards Tattoo in Cluj. Funny enough, he's done the same tattoo not long before he did mine. His style of tattooing really matched my style of photographing and he looked at details the same way I looked at the details in the photo. I am overexposed. The tattoo represents the freedom and vulnerability I felt in discovering myself creatively. From a humble family in Romania to studying fashion photography in the UK was quite the jump. And I had no idea what my photography was about until I've met my beautiful dancer. was liberating I even did my dissertation on this topic and up to this day I still continue to work with dancers and athletes I wanted to pursue dance as a child but these arts and hobbies were not really supported in the period of my childhood so I always say that I get to live my dream behind the camera and I love it as liberating and free the pose is it's not easy it's a lot of work made seem easy and you can probably relate to that concept can't you the watercolor splashes were freestyle only request i had was that the bottom of the tattoo to be blue because that is the water that is falmouth and funny enough the map kind of looks like the ballerina's point i just realized that my first tattoo actually caused me or led me to having 
my second one. Listen to this. So I had my first tattoo the day before I moved to London and as much as I loved London, at some point I got into the routine of commuting projects that lacked my favorite subject, people. And I sank really deep mentally, I really struggled. My emergency happiness plan was to work as a flight attendant for the Emirates or for Qatar. However, that became impossible because of my tattoo. And um, I was not the kind of person to miss out on a job opportunity because of my tattoos. That seems a bit absurd to me and is against my principles. Checking one of my friend's Facebook, a friend who used to travel like a lot, I realized that she's doing it at sea. I asked her about the tattoo policy on board cruise ships and the moment she replies saying that it's less restrictive, I immediately applied without knowing I was going to and without telling anyone. So this is my second tattoo and it is a story in itself. It's from the 1st of April 2019. A Romanian girl gets a tattoo of the British flagship Queen Mary 2's funnel in Sydney, Australia in a studio called Little Tokyo by an artist artist from South Korea as we were preparing to depart to New Zealand. She's an incredible artist. I went with a design already made, color choices and uh, watercolor were freestyle, but I looked her up before and I knew that the execution would be impeccable. <laughs> Little Tokyo Tattoo Salon in Sydney and I can't believe how cool this place is. Let me show you around. Look at this lift. There is something sad around these tattoos as a time frame. Immediately after I got them, I got a phone call about the deteriorating health and death of two really important men in my life, in my family, and it took away from the excitement. I've never told anyone this before. My future tattoos are a symbol of something I'm in the process of earning. So the next video you'll see on this topic will be a great personal achievement and milestone in my life. Thank you for being here. Oh, I'm ready. What the?